So, what know. are we calling this session? I don't know. Our Costa Rica session? That's original. <laughs> well, it's not original because. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Skins got their soapbox. <laughs> Take one. Skins got their soapbox. Welcome to Skins got their soapbox. We are going to. I don't think I like your name. <laughs> I think come up funny. with a new name. Sunset chats. I like that. Skins got their sunset chats. Sometimes it might not happen at sunset. You were getting ready to get into what we talking about. What are we talking about? Vampire facials. Vampire facials. We're talking about vampire facials. Vampire. Facials. How many of y'all have heard about vampire facials? <laughs> I have to admit, the first time I heard of a vampire facial, I thought they were literally joking. No, they were serious. They were serious. So you're telling me that. There's people who line up to donate their blood. <laughs> I'm sorry. For a cause unrelated to medicine. Yes. Yeah. Or saving lives, even. Yeah. Yeah. There's blood floating around here just to be applied to the face. And I have yet to figure out exactly what that benefit is. So if any of y'all out there know what the benefit of a vampire facial is, please let me know. <laughs> vampire facials are... <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Because we don't even understand vampire facials. What would make a person literally want to go put another person's blood on their face? I like, don't know. I would need to know where that blood's coming from. No! I would never put blood on I don't understand. Like, if it's to increase circulation, you can smack someone and do a better job at that. Like, what's the purpose of a vampire facial? I can smack you for free. <laughs> if it's minerals and vitamins, you can get the exact same minerals and vitamins that we have in our blood from plants. Yeah. Like, neem and metal and... Yeah. For every vitamin you need, there's moringa. A plant for it. Like there's, there's so many vitamins and herbs and flowers that you can use that don't require you to use blood, human blood, because it's human blood. Like let's make yeah. a note of that. They're not using any other animal's blood. It's a human's blood. They're applying. So they are literally applying the blood of another individual, not yourself, and yeah. applying that to another individual's face a whole separate individual a unique individual is applying the blood but what the, ki another the kicker is is there is a person that is literally supplying their blood probably on donation basis who's giving the blood for they vampires. probably give it i don't even Facial. know i wonder if they know that they're giving the blood they gotta it. know they gotta know they gotta know or they are they just know. buying it from blood banks Wait, what happens to the blood blood banks? well now we do know what happens to the blood, <laughs> blood banks they put it on people's face all right, well. And call it vampire facials. Smart. Here's what I feel about it. <laughs> I think it's unnecessary. I think that they have officially come up with everything under the sun. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I think I'm not a fan. I agree. I'm <laughs> Releasing a MP3 of that later on. <laughs> <laughs> Bada boom. So that's how we feel about vampire facials. Yeah. Um, we want to hear how you guys feel about vampire facials. Yeah, so. and if you know the benefits, please let me know. Comment below. Um, let us know what you want us to talk about next. We're going to do these sunset chats um, frequently. Yeah. So we're going to talk about all types of things, all types of different topics, yeah. skincare related, life related. Just so sometimes. we'll catch you guys on the next sunset <laughs> chat. Skin Scholar Sunset Chat. Say that. 15 times fast. Skin Scholar Sunset Chat. That's once. But okay. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.